What's up, Reaper team? Welcome so much to another video. I am uh, driving around in my fancy black sports car. Yeah, it's a Honda Civic. Yeah, I'm just driving around here. I got two dozen beautiful number one blue call crabs. I got a hundred little neck crabs, and then I got two dozen green crabs because uh, Zach and I are going fishing tomorrow. So we're gonna go fluking. Uh, the season ends, I wanna say on Friday or Saturday. Uh, but it's really gonna end tomorrow because we got a big northeast blow coming um, Now, I don't know if the fish are gonna bite tomorrow. I think they will uh, but we had a real big swell from this last hurricane uh, I think hurricane Paulette. Uh, I mean it was sending, you know, four to eight foot ground swell for a couple of days and That kind of turns up the bottom a little bit, but uh, yeah, I got some uh, some blue crabs for Chrissy's belly I got some green crabs because what we're gonna do is hopefully put a fluke limit in the boat and then uh, maybe we'll catch a couple of tog uh, but that's gonna be tomorrow and uh, I'm gonna hot stop over to Bass Pro real quick got a couple things to pick up I got a couple of things from uh, offshore bait and tackle as well And then uh, I'm gonna meet you guys at the big boat and uh, just give you a quick update on how the big boats doing and uh, my engine issues uh, It's been about a month now and I haven't been offshore. I'm really freaking out about it uh, But I'm trying to stay calm um, I worked a whole bunch so I really couldn't have been able to get out that much anyway um, so I'm just trying to look at it that way and also, you know, I've been blown out for over a month at a time as well end of August into September So just trying to look at it that way um, And hopefully we'll get a run in and uh, ready for the fall run. So I will stop yapping I'll meet back with you guys in the engine room. So Check that out and then check us out tomorrow out on the flute grounds super pumped. Okay, yeah, bud. Go ahead Yeah, man. There you go All right guys, so we're pulling up to Bass Pro Pretty neat, it's right here in downtown Atlantic City. I mean, there's the famous White House subs. They've been around forever. Delicious, by the way. But uh, yeah, I mean, right in the heat of, you know, Atlantic City. You know, I, I try and support my local shops whenever I can. I, I buy local all the time, uh, but sometimes they just don't have uh, some of the bigger stuff that I need. So it's really convenient having, um, you know, Bass Pro right here, so pretty cool. So for the most part, if you come here and spend any kind of money, um, the parking's free for the most part all right so let's see what kind of damage we can do today all right let's see what kind of damage your team i never get out of here without spending 100 bucks so uh i don't know let's see. uh close guys 10902 just can't ever do it. Just can't ever get out of there less than 100 bucks. Once we get over to the boat, I'll show you what I got. I uh, I got some new toys. Uh, I got this silly thing on my neck for the stupid COVID, but let's see what we got here. So I got this neat collapsible crab slash crawdad trap. And really what I'm gonna use this for is hopefully to catch spot. Um, I bought a couple of these pinfish traps from Key West down in you know down from the keys and uh they don't work at all uh they've been catching just small sea bass and other little fish but i think the openings are too small for the uh for the spot so i'm gonna try that out i'm kind of obsessed with it got some somebody somebody's yelling at me maybe not got some uh already pre-cut vacuum seal bags got a couple of just plano tackle trays for uh some of my deep water fluke stuff Got some uh, sunflower seeds and uh, just some odds and ends, some extra hooks and things like that. So let's go check out Zach's boat now. He wanted me to make sure that uh, his breaker's on to charge the trolling motor. And uh, then I'll finally show you guys uh, how we're making out of the big boat. All right, guys, don't tell Alana, but I think in the off season, I may look for a bigger little boat. I don't know. We'll see. Don't tell her. There's Zachy's boat here. We'll be getting that bad boy all hopefully bloody tomorrow with some fluke. So Zach added the hard top in the off season and it makes it look like such a bigger boat. It's a 20 foot Hydra Sports. Let's see, Zachy, you got your breaker on or what, bud? Oh yeah, okay, there you go. You're on, Zacharis. Now uh, team, I definitely missed uh, probably two to three trips on the big boat. Um, honestly, I was working a ton. My work schedule, the end of August, beginning of September was really rough. Um, 
So I probably missed two to three trips. The weather was kind of iffy. Uh, but I definitely am missing a trip today into tomorrow. So either today or tomorrow or an overnighter. So kind of bummed about that. Ooh, look at all the peanut bunker. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Look at the peanuts. Yeah. Let's see if I can show them to you. See the peanut bunker right there, guys? Damn. Look at them. Just swimming around in a circle. What's up, fellas? Yeah, we're going to find you tomorrow. Feed you to some fluke. Anyway, like I was saying, yeah. Definitely missing out on a trip today or tomorrow. Ah, ah it hurts my soul. It hurts my soul. Anyway. Show you my girlfriend. Also, team, it's it's September, and the weather is just beautiful. I'm in, you know, sweatpants or jeans and a t-shirt. This is the weather I like. I'm getting, uh, I'm just getting too old for those summers. I just don't like it anymore. So here's my girlfriend. Oh yeah, guys, you can see that with the cockpit, you know, with not a lot of clutter. I mean, this cockpit's huge, but uh. Yeah, she, she's bummed. She's ticked off at me. The other thing on the list is show these chips we got in the gel coat. I got to get that all addressed. You know? Here. Got to get this addressed too. More money. I'm sure we could do it ourselves, but just wouldn't come out as good as if we did uh, you know, did it professionally. A lot of that comes from, I think, tog fishing. Um, just big heavy weights getting thrown around so I take a look uh, also real quick I want to tell you I've been working on t-shirts guys um, I promise um, try to get it to where y'all can just order online on my website uh, I made a website specifically just for shirts and hats and things like that and then this way you guys can go on shop see what you like and then it's kind of like a print on demand kind of thing um, I don't really have time unfortunately to order you know five six seven hundred shirts and then ship them out. I'd rather you guys be able to order them at your leisure um, and then not wait for me to ship them because it might take a while. Um, so I went ahead and I, I made one or two shirts um, and I ordered them myself just to make sure that the process was right before you guys did it. And I really wasn't happy with the quality of the shirt. So obviously if I'm not happy, I'm not gonna sell them to you guys. Um, and I, I'm not asking for you know a lot of money or anything like that. I just wanted to have you guys uh, you know show your support. It'd be really cool and obviously any anything uh, that goes towards the boat will help. Oh, look, more peanuts. Wow. Look at them all. There's tons of them, guys. I don't know if you can see them. Look, there's thousands of them. Whoa, what's up, boys? Hey. Anyway, yeah, so I'm working on it. Um, once I get it ready, I'll show them to you. I'll have Alana or Brad or one of the girls model them for you, and then you guys can see. And, uh, yeah, I'd love it if you all show your support for the channel because, uh, man, I love you guys watching and subscribing and commenting. It's just been been really fun but all right let's check out the engine room here oh let's turn the light on hold on let's get a light going let's get the uh engine room lights on all right all right guys so we're done in the engine room here um team it's team it's been a rough year um everything's kind of just going on this season uh, i don't think it's anything that we're doing wrong we don't run this boat excessively hard i mean we run it a lot but honestly for diesels that's good the more you run them the better the more fuel turnover the better um you know i have all that fuel just sitting down there you know collecting uh biomaterial as well as water um we turn over lots of diesel fuel and i'm really pretty darn diligent on, on the fluids and you know all the fluid changes and filter changes and all that uh, but yeah uh you don't hear that annoying sound in the background um i didn't forget to turn the air conditioner off it's not working so the salon unit, the rear unit, is missing. Um, we're going to replace that in the off season, and we've had the forward unit going, and that's been cooling uh, most of the boat. It's been doing a pretty good job, but uh, yeah, that just went a couple of days ago. So, just one thing after the other. It's going to be an expensive off season, but let's check out the engine here. So you can see that they've got her all taken apart. Um, so there's the. There's the exhaust manifold there, and we were thinking it was going to be one, one continuous gasket, but I'm pretty sure the gaskets all go just right there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, one for each cylinder. What happened was when I bought the boat, it had 630 hours on it, um, and what the prior owner did, he actually went ahead and did the thousand-hour service already. I was like, man, that's awesome. Um, so the boat. 
I thought the engines were going to be pristine. Um, they had just detailed the engine room. The boats had just had, I don't know, like 30, 40 grand work of, of worth of work done. I thought everything was going to be peachy keen. But I guess the marina up there in Rhode Island, when they did all the gaskets, they used the wrong ones or they didn't do it right. At least what's my mechanics telling me. So that's super, super bombed. I mean, so here's the, here's the gaskets and this is what is failed. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, but these little buggers are the problem here. See, that one's shot. So literally six, six little gaskets have kept me out of the water for a month or so. Honestly, I should have let Zach and uh, our buddy Craig do it. Um, I just, I was worried. I didn't want them to get down in here and, um, you know, realize they were in over their heads and then were set back even further. Not that I don't have faith in them. I have faith in them. These guys are awesome, but... Um, I just figured let the pros do it um, But yeah in retrospect, I probably should have just let the guys do it, but yeah, so we've got the manifold off um, You can see they had to pull the, the turbo off um, You can see also the after cooler looks The after cooler looks a little sooted up too. I'm a little worried about that I'll have to uh, talk to the guys at Jersey Cape and see if they need to to clean that out um, before we get running again um, or if that's something that can wait till the off season so uh, yeah, I mean, you've got to, you pulled everything off from the main exhaust. I mean, um, good amount of work. Um, my mechanic said it's pretty labor intensive just taking the, the manifold off. And uh, the other thing too, man, I, you know, if Craig and Zach are down here, you know, they're wasting their days off. I feel bad. Um, I know Zach doesn't mind, but uh, God forbid one of them gets hurt or something. I would just feel terrible. But at any rate, um, so the mechanic sent me an email this morning um, saying the estimate's 3600 bucks. So, uh, honestly, guys, that's um, that's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was thinking ten grand or more. So, with boats anything less than ten thousand, honestly, I'm I'm pretty pumped. I know that sounds insane, but uh, that's boats. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So he said, uh, hopefully the part should be in really soon, and um, uh, hopefully I'll have us running by the end of the week. Now we've got the big northeast blow, so I don't think I'll be uh, fishing really anytime soon. But yeah, the sooner the better, um, because then this way we can go out and do some shakedown trips, um, and then maybe even do like an inshore trip, troll for Wahoo and 20 to 30 fathoms before we start heading to the canyons. Because I'm pretty sure after this next blow, I'm going to be going all the way, baby, to the Hudson, and that's uh, 100 miles plus, um, just one way to the fishing ground. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. Poor girl. She's like, what are you doing to me, Chris? She wants to go catch some fish. Whoa, look at that beautiful custom over there, guys. Whoa. Look, there's another one over there, too. Two beautiful customs. Good Lord. Maybe someday, guys. I don't know. Maybe we saw lots of t-shirts. I'll get a custom. <laughs> Ooh, look at all the bunker. Look at all the bunker. Look at them all. What's up, guys? Yo. Peanut bunker, guys. Catch them, net them, trade them, give them to your friends. Just awesome beach, guys. Awesome. All right. Remind me in the comments below that I gotta feed my spot. Bring over some fish scraps from tomorrow. So tomorrow, what we'll do, we'll take our fish scraps and we will uh, try that new trap out for spot, and then we'll take some of the scraps and we'll feed feed our spot pen nothing goes to waste guys if you kill fish use it all right so that's enough of me yapping i appreciate y'all watching I, I love it it's been so fun hit that like button subscribe in that silly bell and uh, i'll see you guys out on zach's boat tomorrow i'm super pumped baby i love fishing we ain't done on the big boat either we ain't done it's just the third quarter we got three timeouts ain't no thing but a chicken wing on a string I'll see you guys.